Speak and practice English conversation. Topics, taking the bus. Lesson 1, lost a ticket. Oh no, I lost my ticket. Was it an all-day pass? Yes, I just bought it. What are you going to do? Well, I guess all I need to do is get home. It takes three transfers to get to your house. Maybe I'll just hop the bus. No way! You have to buy another ticket. It's not a big deal. No one will notice. You'd better not. You could get in trouble. I feel like I'm wasting my money. A $2 ticket is better than a $150 ticket fine. Lesson 2. Sleeping on the Greyhound What time is it? The sun just rose. How many more hours are left? Maybe two more hours. That's good. I'm hungry. I'm feeling hungry, too. My neck hurts from sleeping in a bad position. Next time, maybe we should bring pillows. Definitely. Then my head won't bounce around. At least you're not car sick. You're car sick? It's better not to talk about it. Lesson 3. Bus Lines There are so many bus stops. Each bus has a specific stop it goes to. How do I know which stop to wait at? It's written on the bus schedule. Where can I find the bus schedule? You can look it up online. Everything is online nowadays. Yes, it makes things convenient. What happens if I'm at the wrong stop? You can check the destination on each bus. What if it doesn't help and I'm still lost? Ask a bus driver for help. Lesson 4. Minibus Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I can't find the Muni bus I'm looking for. Well, the letters flash on the sign as they arrive. That's the problem. I don't see the 8X Muni. Oh, there's been a misunderstanding. What do you mean? The line you're looking for is actually a bus line. Oh, where can I take it? Just go out to the stop on the street. It's a little confusing to have a Muni bus and a Muni train. Just remember, if it has a number, it's a Muni bus. Lesson 5. Seating We only have to ride for one stop. Yeah, then we have a bus transfer. Let's sit here by the door. I don't think we should sit there. Why don't you want to sit there? Those seats are reserved for the handicapped and elderly. Are all the seats next to the exits reserved? I think they are. They have signs beside them. All the seats close to those are taken. Just choose any seat. Oh, look! We're there already. I suppose standing wasn't so bad anyway. Lesson 6. Bus Tickets Where do I buy my bus ticket? You buy it in the bus. Isn't there a station? Yes, but that's not where you buy tickets. Does the bus driver give me my ticket? The bus driver has a machine that does. Do I buy a new ticket every time I ride the bus? Yes, but if you plan to ride several buses, buy a day pass. Why should I buy a day pass? It would be cheaper than buying several tickets. So I just wait for the bus to get here? Yes, and make sure you have change. Lesson 7. Big Luggage I'm so tired. Me too. That's the longest flight I've ever ridden. 
Where's our hotel? I have the address right here. It's not too far. We can take the bus. Actually, we can't. Why we can't? The bus will not allow us to carry luggage. That's so inconvenient. It's because it'll take up space on the bus. How do we get back to the hotel then? I guess we'll have to call a taxi. Lesson 8 Baby on the Bus. That child just won't stop crying. It's been crying for the last three stops. The mother has tried feeding it already. I guess she can't change the diaper on the bus. I read once that babies' ears hurt on the bus. Why do their ears hurt? It's because of the air pressure in the bus. Is it like when your ears hurt on a plane? Well, my ears hurt too. I don't think that's because of air pressure. I can't stand it anymore. Let's get off now. All right, that screeching is getting to me too. Lesson 9, Window Seat I like a window seat. Why are you always so excited about sitting there? I like being able to look outside. You walk along the streets all the time. That's true, but this way it's like a movie. What do you mean it's like a movie? I like watching the people walking by. All people walk the same way, you know. Perhaps, but not all people live the same way. What does this have to do with a window seat? I just like looking out at the world. Suppose the world is rather peaceful. Lesson 10. Discounts. Take out your student ID card. Why do I need it? If you show it to the driver, your ticket costs less. That is very helpful to students. Yes, saving every little bit counts. He charged me a whole dollar less. Yes, bus drivers are nice to students. I wish I'd known it do it sooner. Me too. We would have saved some money. Does it work for college students too? I think so, as long as you show a school ID. I'd better tell my big brother too. Lesson 11, Sleeping Neighbor Hi. Sorry I took so long to meet you. That's all right. We have plenty of time. Who is that girl sleeping on your shoulder? She's just someone else riding the bus. You mean you don't know her? No, she boarded after I did and fell asleep. Don't you mind her leaning on your shoulder? No, I don't. She must be exhausted. What if she misses her stop? I heard her say she's going to Main Street. Hey! That's our stop, too. Yeah, so just let her sleep. It'll be fine. Lesson 12. Overnight Buses Plane tickets are so expensive. I can't afford to fly to San Francisco. Well, we can always go by bus. There's a bus that drives to San Francisco? There are buses that drive to any nearby state. That sounds perfect. How much is the fare? Usually one-fifth of what a plane ticket costs. How do we buy tickets? If we buy them online, they're even cheaper. What bus line do I search? Greyhound buses are the most popular. I'm so glad we'll have a trip after all. Lesson 13, Bus Schedule there are so many buses going to Montebello. There are many places in Montebello. How do I know which bus to take? First, choose where you want to go in Montebello. All right, then what's next? 
Read the list of Montebello buses going to that stop. There are three. How do I choose one? They are all going to the same place? Yes, it looks like they are. Then choose the bus based on the timetable. This is the bus that gets me there the soonest. You'd better get moving. It'll be here soon. Lesson 14, Chatty Neighbor Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hello, likewise. Are you taking the bus downtown? Yes, I am. I'm doing some shopping. Oh, so am I. Prices are so much better there. Yes, they are. The weather is very nice today, at least. I'm glad for that. It's nice for walking about. Heat waves are so unfortunate. They drain my energy. I know what you mean. Would you like to join me while shopping today? I just remembered. I have to get off at the next stop. Lesson 15, Outlets and Wi-Fi This bus is amazing! It's so big! The seats are comfortable, too. I didn't know they have outlets and Wi-Fi. These buses are as comfortable as possible. Let's look for a seat with an outlet. Look! There's one there! It looks like it's already taken. I guess we have to be faster next time. I found one. Sit down, quickly! We're all set for our trip now. Lesson 16, Bus Route At what time does the Montebello bus leave? It leaves every 10 minutes. Do you know when the next one is coming? Well, you actually just missed it. You mean I have to wait 10 whole minutes? Unfortunately, sometimes, though, it's a little faster. I wonder if I'll still have enough time for shopping. You only have a few minutes to buy something. I'm in a bit of a hurry. You should try a different bus routes. Is it easy to navigate bus routes? Very easy. Here's a map for you to read. Lesson 17. Buying tickets on the bus. Excuse me, I need a ticket. You owe me a dollar. I already put one in. Yes, and you owe me another. The counter says fare is one dollar. The fare counter tells how much money you've inserted. I don't understand. It reads one dollar because you put a dollar in. How do I know I've paid the fare? The counter will go back to zero. Oh, I see what you mean. Now that you've paid your two dollars, here's your ticket. Lesson 18, Falling Asleep on the Bus Hey, you need to wake up now. Where am I? You're at the last stop on the route. What? How did we get so far? You fell asleep and didn't request a stop. I was supposed to get off three stops ago. I didn't know. All I do is drive the bus. How can I get back from here? A bus going back will arrive soon. That's good. I'd hate to be stranded. Make sure you don't fall asleep this time. Trust me, I'll never fall asleep again. Lesson 19, Standing in Line this line is so long. We've been waiting for almost an hour. I guess they do really check thorough. What are they checking for? They need to make sure no one is carrying any weapons. I'm glad they check thoroughly for that. They also have to make sure no one has drugs. Wow, I guess that's why the police dogs are here. Look, there are only three people ahead. 
After that, can we board the bus? Yes, we're almost there. Good. I'm tired of standing in line. Lesson 20. So many bus lines. There are so many bus lines here. Yes, there are. I still get confused sometimes. How do you know which buses to get on? I check the schedules at each bus stop. That is so convenient. Yes, it is. It helps to keep me from getting lost. So many bus lines can be confusing. The buses pass by very frequently. How often do they pass by? Maybe once every 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like I'll never get stranded here. Definitely not. Just make sure you have a ticket. Lesson 21. Tap card trouble. My tap card isn't working. Why not? Try it again. It's still not accepting the fare. Is the magnetic strip broken? No, I just used it at the station. Did it run out of credit? No, I just refilled it yesterday. Did you tap it upside down? I tried flipping it several times. Look, you're using a Metro card. What's the problem with that? This is the Montebello bus line. Lesson 22, Alternate Bus Route. I just missed my bus. Oh no, what are you going to do? I don't know. The next one comes in 10 minutes. You won't make it to work on time. What should I do? Ask the next bus driver for help. How can he possibly help me? He could tell you which bus to ride. Do you think it's all right to ride a different bus? Sure, as long as you get to work on time. I just hope I won't get lost. You won't. Besides, it's good not to sit idly by. Lesson 23, Metro. What bus do we need to take? We need to take the Metro. The Metro bus stop isn't here. No, I meant the Metro Gold Line. I've never ridden that bus line before. It's not a bus. It's a Metrolink train. Why do we need to take the train? It'll take us to Pasadena faster. How will it do that? Trains have fewer stops and never get stuck in traffic. That sounds very convenient. It is. Hurry and buy your tap card. Lesson 24. Eating on the bus. You should put away those chips. Why? I'm hungry. You'll leave crumbs everywhere. Someone will pick them up. Probably roaches and vermin. There are no roaches on the bus. That's only because people work to keep things clean. You're exaggerating. There are signs saying no food on the bus. No one takes those signs seriously. Imagine if everyone left crumbs and trash on the bus. I guess I should not make a mess at least. Lesson 25, Wheelchair. The man getting on the bus is in a wheelchair. The driver has to adjust the seats. What will he do for them? He'll move them out of the way. They look difficult to move. Maybe we should help him. What do I do? Just release the lever under the seat. Now what do I do? Let's push the seats out of the way. The driver and the man are so grateful. We should always try to help others. Lesson 26, Tap Card. Why didn't you buy a bus ticket? I have a tap card. What is a tap card? 
It stores money for me to use when I ride the bus. Is it like a credit card? It works exactly like a credit card. How did the bus driver know you had one? I tapped it on his ticket console. I see. That is much faster. Yes, and much more convenient. Maybe I'll get myself a tap card. You should. You'd save time and money. Speak and practice English conversation. Topics, housing. Lesson 1, roommates. Apartments are so expensive these days. Only rich people can afford to live in them. My landlord raised the rent, so I'm moving out. Where will you live? I don't know yet. I have to search for an apartment. Are you going to live alone? Well, I've never had a roommate before. I would find one if I were you. It would be helpful in paying the rent. Post an ad on Craigslist and see who replies. If a psycho becomes my roommate, I'll blame you. If that happens, I'll stay far away from your apartment. Lesson 1. Outdoor Barbecue The house down the street is on fire! How do you know? There is smoke coming from the house. Did you call 911? I am going to call right now. I think they're having a barbecue. This is nothing to joke about. No, I mean the smoke is coming from a grill. Oh, that explains the delicious smell. Were we invited? I'm afraid we were not. How sad, even after saving their burning house. Lesson 3, The Big Announcement I have a big surprise for you. Is it a new toy? No, it's a big announcement. That doesn't sound very exciting. We are moving to a new house. What's wrong with our apartment? Well, a house is bigger. Apartments are cozier. You can have a dog in the new house. But we already have a cat. The new house has a tree house in the backyard. Now there's a big surprise. I'm so excited. Lesson 4. Housewarming Party I'm planning a housewarming party. Is that to celebrate buying a heater? Don't be so sarcastic. I really don't know what that is. It's so that we can meet our neighbors. I don't really want to meet our neighbors. Quit being so negative. What do we do at this party? Everyone brings a dish and we sit and eat and talk. Sounds like a regular party. It's a regular party. Next time, don't call it something so strange. Lesson 5. Raccoons There is garbage all over the ground. Those raccoons knocked over the trash cans again. I feel like calling animal control. Would they take care of the problem? I think they'd come and catch them. What would happen to the raccoons? They'd be released into the wild. What if they put them to sleep? I didn't think about that. Maybe it's better to buy chains for the trash cans. I think so, too. That way we won't kill any raccoons. Lesson 6. Key Confusion I can't unlock the door. Maybe it's because the key is brand new. The lock won't turn at all. Are you sure the key is not upside down? I've flipped it five times. It still doesn't work? No, the door is still locked. Let me try to open it. 
Maybe you'll have better luck. I see what the problem is. You're using your old key. Oops, I'm so used to my old house. It's all right. Eventually, you'll get used to this one. Lesson seven, furniture. I repainted my house, so I need some new furniture. What pieces are you looking for? A new table, a sofa, and maybe a reading chair. What's wrong with your old furniture? It doesn't match the room anymore. Is it still comfortable to use? Yes, I think I will sell it. You can also get it reupholstered. Are you crazy? That is much too expensive. It depends on where you have it done. I still say that it takes too much effort. Trying to help you takes too much effort too. Lesson eight: Lawn management. What is that you're riding? It's my new riding lawn mower. It looks like a sporting vehicle. Mowing the lawn can be a sport. That doesn't sound like a very exciting sport. It's exciting on a riding mower. How does it take you? How long does it take you to finish the lawn? Around twenty minutes. It takes me an hour most of the time. This tool is fun and convenient. Can I borrow it sometime? No way. A racer never lends out his race car. Lesson nine: Broken window. My son broke a window yesterday. How did he do that? He said he was practicing his pitching. He was pitching against the window. No, against the side of the house. If he missed, he's not a very good pitcher. No, but he's pretty fast and can run long distances. How do you know that? I chased him when I found out he broke the window. Well, you contributed to his training. As his coach, my fee is three months of his allowance. What a coincidence! That's enough for a new window. Lesson ten: Late mortgage payment. I made a terrible mistake. What's the problem? I made the check for the mortgage and didn't mail it. When was it due? Yesterday. I thought I sent it three days ago. It was just an honest mistake. Do you think I can send it now? Well, you have to. They may charge a late fee, though. I have to be more careful when making the payments. Yes, you do. I'd hate to be evicted. Don't joke about things like that. I'm sorry. I'll go mail the check now. Lesson eleven: A filthy pool. The pool is filthy. I forgot to put on the cover last night. There are mosquitoes buzzing around it. They lay their eggs in the stagnant water. How are we supposed to go swimming? You have to wait until I clean the pool. Can you clean it now? I have to before more mosquitoes hatch. Try not to get bitten. I'd hate to be hospitalized for a mosquito bite. If you are, make sure you finish the pool first. Your concern over me is heartwarming. Lesson twelve: Nails in the wall. You have so many portraits on your wall. I love displaying all the pictures I've taken. How do you hang all the picture frames? I just hang them on the wall. You don't use nails, do you? Well, yes, I do. You're not allowed to use nails in an apartment. Why not? It ruins the walls for the next tenant. I didn't think about that. You'd better use poster putty the next time. I'll cover all these holes with paint. 
Less than 14 colon pets in the house. Who let the dog inside? I did. What's the problem? He got mud all over the new carpet. That wasn't him. I just gave him a bath. Now that I look closer, these look like footprints. Well, they're not mine. They're too big. They're not mine either. I haven't been outside. I think those are Dad's footprints. I think you're right. Dad's in big trouble now. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll sleep in the doghouse tonight. I don't think the dog wants Dad as a roommate. Lesson 14, A Perfect Place My apartment is too far from work. Have you considered moving? I've thought about it. Where would you move to? I don't like the neighborhood around my job. What about the next one over? Then I'd be too far from school. There are some apartments in between the two. I went to see them, but they were too small. Why don't you live in a townhouse? I suppose that would be a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. It was my idea. Lesson 15, Audie. I want to form a secret club. That sounds fun. Where would the club meet? Maybe we can meet in my attic. No way. It's dark up there. We just need to take flashlights. What if we fall through the ceiling? I don't think that will happen. Most attics are haunted in movies. Do you really believe in ghosts? No, but I don't want to risk it. Maybe the attic isn't such a good idea. Lesson 16, colon, noisy neighbor. I am tired of living in my apartment building. Didn't you just move in a few months ago? Yes, but I really regret it. Why do you regret it so much? My neighbor is a percussionist. That sounds awesome. I love the drums. You wouldn't love them at three in the morning. He plays that late into the night? All the time. It sounds like I live in the jungle. Why don't you just complain to the landlord? I didn't want to cause problems. Your neighbor caused problems in the first place. Lesson 17, Closet Space I need a bigger closet. I think you just need fewer clothes. A woman can never have too many clothes. She can if they don't fit in her closet. Maybe we should take your things out of it. Then where would I put my clothes? You can put them in a small wardrobe. I think it's easier if you throw some dresses out. My dresses are nicer than your clothes. I only have the clothes that are necessary. So do I. I need to look nice more often than you do. I wish your attitude was as nice as your dresses. Lesson 18, colon, a nice blue color. I don't like the color of the walls. It's a very bright color. I want to repaint the whole house. What color will you use? I was thinking a nice blue color. That sounds very nice and soft. Will you help me paint the house? I think we will still need help. I'll ask some others to join us. Will you pay us? I'll pay you with pizza and soda. It's a deal. I'm hired. Lesson 19, Christmas Decorations You sure bought a lot of Christmas lights. I want the house to be shining this Christmas. Do all of the houses on the block decorate? Yes, they do. It is quite beautiful. I can wait to see when it's done. A parade marches by every year so people can see them. 
What are you doing on the roof? I'm going to make it look like it snowed up here. Are you using Christmas lights and cotton? That's right. I'll install a Santa Claus, too. You sure are full of Christmas spirit. Of course. It only comes once a year. Lesson 20. Shingles. What is that black goo you're carrying? It's roofing tar. Are you replacing your shingles? Yes, I am. The roof has been leaking in the rain. Isn't tar very messy? Yes, I need to be careful with it. How long does it take to finish? It takes several hours to replace all the shingles. I think you'd better work very quickly. Why do I have to work quickly? It looks like it's going to rain again tonight. Sometimes I think Mother Nature just likes being mean. Lesson 21, Roommates How many roommates do you have? There are five of us in total. Wow, don't you ever fight? Sometimes, but we try not to. Who does all the household chores? We take turns so that it's fair. That's a good way to do things. Yes, it is, and it helps us get along better. What about when one of you has a girlfriend over? We agreed to try not to have them over too often. I guess it would be a tight squeeze. Too tight for any of our liking. Lesson 22, Air Conditioning. Why are you cutting into the wall? I bought a new air conditioning unit. I don't think that's how you install it. Have you ever installed one before? No, but that still looks wrong. I think I know what I'm doing. I see water pipes behind that wall. I don't think that's good for the air conditioner. I don't think so either. Will you call some professionals now? I guess that's the best thing to do. You should have done so from the beginning. Lesson 23, House Hunting This is the perfect house for us. It has all the bedrooms we need. Each bedroom even has a bathroom. The backyard is huge! And we finally have a pool. What's the price for this house? I didn't expect it to be so high. This house is hideous. I agree. We should look for a different house. A house like this wouldn't be so bad. As long as the price tag doesn't make it hideous. Let's check the price first next time. Lesson 24, Termites. There are holes in the wood in the garage. Are they big or little? They are actually quite tiny. That is very worrisome. Why do you say that? You could have termites or carpenter ants. You mean bugs could be eating at my house? Yes, it is a very serious problem. What should I do? You need to fumigate them immediately. Bugs are such a hassle. I wish they were all dead. <laughs>